Ever since the debut of the Eurus concept at the Beijing show in 2012, the world has been coming to terms with the prospect of a Lamborghini SUV. Five years and a £170 million investment in the Sant Agata facility later, I'm part of a privileged group of four journalists invited to Nardo in late October to drive the prototype and feedback on the results. While many people will balk at the thought of a Lamborghini SUV, the reality is that, for the brand to have a future, and be able to create the next generation of hypercars and supercars, it had to make an SUV you can't argue with the metrics of what the KN did for Porsche. The big question remains, is this Lamborghini just a rebodied Audi Q7? Well, while the technical recipe for this new breed of Lamborghini does take substantially from the VW parts bin and there's some obvious crossover, it's blended to its own very unique Italian recipe. Like the Bentley Bentayga, Audi Q7 and new Porsche Cayenne, the Urus sits on the VW Group's MLB platform, and at 5.1M long, 2M wide and with a 3M wheelbase, it has an imposing mass, just like its cousins. Main difference? It stands just over 10 centimeters lower than the Bentayga and Q7, so it has a much more aggressive stance.